Well, hello, Jetty Rockers. Welcome back to Jetty Rocks Fishing. I'm Captain Mike D. And what we're going to do in this video is just talk about a few things. And every once in a while, I like to do these kind of videos, and you guys seem to like them as well. So we're going to talk about a few things, and we're going to get into that right now. Jetty Rockers, if you could go ahead and go over to JettyRocks.com. You can check out some of these cool hats that we have over there. We also have some tackle available and we will have more available soon. And also guys, if you want to book a charter with me, you can book a charter there because I am now running charters. So all my information is on that website. So go check it out y'all. And you can be in your own very own Jetty Rocks fishing video. I hope to see you guys soon out on the water with me. Let's get back to the video. Well, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you to all you subscribers for everybody that watches these videos every week because we've been putting out a lot of videos, especially recently. We've just been doing a lot of fishing, so I've been putting them out as fast as I can. And you guys are just loving them and liking them and interacting, and I appreciate that very much. So thank you. And for all you new subscribers, welcome to the channel. And thank you for deciding to subscribe to the channel and just being a part of the channel and becoming a Jetty Rocker. It means a lot to me and I appreciate it very much, y'all. All right, one of the first things I wanna talk about is the comment section of my videos and me answering a lot of comments. I haven't been able to answer as many as I normally do and I apologize for that. I try to get as many comments as I possibly can, but to be honest with you, the comment section in a YouTube video stream can pretty much be a full-time job. There's a lot more to it than just answering a couple comments here and there because I get tons of comments on a lot of my videos. So constantly, I could spend probably three to five hours a night answering comments. And doing another thing which you wouldn't think about and you wouldn't know is deleting comments because if you want to know where the world is as far as the mentality of the people in this country just look at the comment section to people that don't go through and weed them out and delete them and you'll know exactly where we're at people are rude inconsiderate and i was just plain stupid people nowadays are just stupid and i spend about an hour no exaggeration about an hour every night deleting inappropriate rude and just complete bullcrap comments and deleting the people that do that but still it seems like i delete one one moron and 10 more morons show up so it's kind of taking up my time a little bit as far as you know answering everybody and getting back to everybody but i will absolutely like every comment that I read and I read every comment. So you'll get a little like from me that let you know that I read that comment. If you don't get a like from me, maybe I didn't like your comment and maybe I'm looking at you to remove you from my channel. You know, cause it gets to be a lot, a whole lot. That is the one thing about doing YouTube videos that you never think of until you start doing it and you start, you know, getting kind of a, a good following that all these other people show up and just try to rain on your parade and try to ruin your day and sometimes it has ruined my day i'm not gonna lie to you sometimes they have said some stuff that really really gets to me or really ticks me off and makes me question why i even do this but then i read all the awesome comments i get from my loyal following my loyal fans the ones that really matter the jetty rockers and that always makes my day better and that brings me to another portion, which is also about the comment section. I get a lot of comments, a lot of them, and my wife Amber gets a lot of comments. 
basically two. We're going to talk about one real quick. Is you need to show more amber. If you showed more amber, you'd get more subscribers, you'd get more followers. Da 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 da. Here's the deal, y'all. This is a fishing channel. This isn't a TNA channel. Okay. Yes, my wife is in a bikini because she likes to be in a bikini. She wears a bikini. But I show her when she catches the fish or she gets in the frame. That's it. That is all it is. It's not about a woman in a bikini. That's not what this channel is about. My wife just happens to wear a bikini. And I know I'm going to get some idiot right now that's going to make a comment. Well, if you didn't want the comments, don't put your wife on the Internet. If you ain't mature enough to be able to watch a woman in a bikini without making a stupid comment, the problem is you, not me, my friend. I got to tell you that right now. So we get a lot of comments like that. And to answer that comment, what she is on the video is where she's at. She doesn't want to be any more in the video than she is. She, you know, we sit down together and we choose what thumbnails we want. If she's in the, th in the video, we'll put her in the thumbnail. But it is not necessarily to grab views. She's not in the videos for views. She's in the videos because she loves the fish and she likes the fish and she's good at it. Y'all make all kinds of comments of how she outfishes me all the time. And she does most of the time. She does outfish me. Once in a while, I will outfish her. But that's the whole purpose of the videos, guys. We are a fishing family, a fishing couple. I am a charter captain, I am a fisherman, and we just make videos that we put on YouTube. We're not YouTubers. We're not trying to get views from everybody. We're not trying to grow this channel to 10 million subscribers. If it happens, great. If we get a lot of views, great. Awesome. But that is not the main focus of us. That's not what we're out to do. We're not out to clickbait people. We're not out to do anything. Any thumbnail that I have on my channel is taken from the video. So people always say, oh, it's clickbait, clickbait. You obviously don't know the definition of clickbait. Clickbait is something that gets you to click that has nothing to do with the video. It gets you to click on the video and you watch the video and it's not in the video. Every thumbnail in every single one of my videos is taken from the actual video. So there's that. And to answer... Another comment I get a lot of that I delete a lot of times because it comes with a lot of rudeness is what kind of man I am for making my wife wear a bikini just so I can get views. The immaturity and idiocracy that it takes to make a comment like that is just blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. And if you're watching this video, you made a comment like that. Just know, I think you're a complete asshole. So that being said, I do not make my wife do anything. If any of y'all are married and you have a wife, you know you don't make your wife do nothing. If my wife didn't want to be in a bikini, there ain't nothing I could do to make her wear a bikini. A lot of the times, I actually would rather my wife not wear a bikini. We just go out and go fishing. But it's Florida, it's hot, my wife wants to be in a bikini in a bikini so guess what she's in a bikini i do not control my wife and for someone to say that i do it make my wife do that for views it just blows my mind it just that just i don't know where people come from i really don't but it goes back to what i just said a little bit ago we don't do anything for views we're not that's not the game we're playing we go out fishing and the day we have we film it we put it out for you guys to watch and hopefully get some enjoyment out of it and get some entertainment out of it. And for the most part, I think we're doing okay. This channel's grown quite a bit. I, I get enough views for me to be happy. I don't care if I get a mil million views on every video. I don't care if I get 3,000 views on a video. If I get 3,000 views on a video, I'm static. I'm happy. That's just the way that I look at this. This is the mindset that I'm in. So for people to say stuff like that, it just blows my mind. Again, like I said in the beginning, it'll let you know where we are as a people. Just read in the comment section in YouTube videos. And another thing I want to talk about is etiquette. We've already pretty much talked about etiquette in the comment section. But we're going to talk about etiquette on the water because I've made some videos. You guys see me get upset at people. And I've had a lot of people make a lot of comments. A lot of comments. And people see me at the jetties fishing around people and I don't get mad. 
and people make a lot of comments. And I, out there shrimping, they see me casting nets right next to the boats, and they're casting nets next to me, and I don't get mad. And people say a lot of comments, and then they see me out offshore 15 miles, and somebody comes up to me, and I get upset. There's reasons. It's called etiquette. If you're fishing a place like the jetties, you know there's going to be a bunch of people around. You expect it. You learn to deal with it. You work with the other boaters, the other fishermen. You all work together, and you all have a good time. Same with, thing with shrimping. We all know each other. I've grown up with 90% of the people you see in the shrimping videos. I know them. I've grown up with them. I've shrimped with them in the past. We all know each other. We work very well with each other. And it works. It just works. Now, with me being offshore 15 miles, when people go offshore, they go to get away from everybody. That's one of the main things about fishing offshore is to get away, to get secluded, to have a fishing spot all to yourself and enjoy the day by yourself with friends, with family or whatever. That's the whole purpose of it. And that's one of the main reasons people go to catch, go fishing offshore. Yes, to catch fish and all the other, but a lot of it is to be secluded, to be away from people. And I had one guy make a comment that when he goes out to a spot that he has marked and there's somebody already there, the people yell at him and get mad at him because he's wanting to fish that spot, but he had that spot marked. Okay, let me answer that. Let me answer that comment. I have a lot of spots marked. If I'm heading offshore and I have a spot in mind that I'm going to and I see somebody fishing it, out of respect and courtesy, I will go fish another spot. If you don't have a lot of spots, that's, that's your fault, not mine or any other fisherman. That's not their fault. Learn more, find more spots. They're easy. You can go online and find fishing spots here in Volusia County for artificial sites. They're all public knowledge. You can find them online. You can go to any bait and tackle shop around here or any area that you live and buy a hot spots map or buy a local uh, fishing club map. Like here we have the Halifax Sport Fishing Club. They put out a map every, every few years and it has all the spots on it. It has some natural reefs. It has some reefs you didn't even know were there. It has some artificial reefs. It's not that much money. It's $20, $30. You grab the map and you have all these fishing spots right there at your fingertips. So that's not an excuse to me. If you say, well, I had this spot marked. Yeah, so did I. But I happened to get there first, so you should show me the courtesy. You do unto others as you want them to do unto you. And I always show other fishermen courtesy. If I go to a spot in the river that I was planning on fishing and I see somebody there, I don't pull right on top of them and start fishing. That's rude. And that makes you a complete jerk. So I go to another spot. I find another spot. And if I don't have a spot in that area, I'll find one. You don't know good fishing spots until you find them. It's all trial and error. But people go offshore to be alone, to be secluded, to have a good time. Unless you've invited somebody or whatnot, whatever. But people do not like for other people to come up on them and fish a reef that's only 30 to 40 feet you know, circumference. It's a small reef. They don't need three or four other boaters on top of them because then you listen to each other's conversation. You all are being loud. I'm trying to film a video and you all are over there cussing. It's just a whole bunch of kind of stuff like that. that Y'all on YouTube land don't think about when you make these comments. But there's just a lot of stuff, y'all. A lot of stuff. But if you're going offshore or you're in the river, show courtesy to your other fishermen. It's not all about you. You don't own the world. It's not about what you want to do all the time. Sometimes you have to show courtesy. And I can guarantee you 100%, I always do. If I'm going to a spot and somebody's there, I go to another one. It may not be the spot I wanted to fish, but somebody was there first. They earn that right and they earn the respect. And you should give them that respect. And people that don't, I have no respect for you as a fisherman and I have no respect for you as a person. You know, that's something needs to be said. People need to understand this stuff. And some of you may get mad at what I just said. Frankly, I don't care. Because it's the truth and it is the way fishermen think and it is the way it is. Whether you like it or not, that's the unspoken rule in fishing. And I get all kinds of comments. Well, they don't do this here. They don't do this there. You know, we all do. We're not there. We're here in the state of Florida. And that's how we are here.
And another comment I want to touch base on, I know this whole video is about the comment section. <laughs> I apologize. I just been built, this stuff's just been building up in me for a long time. And I've been wanting to say this stuff for a while. So finally, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it all out there and just get it out in one video. But another comment I get a lot of, so whenever I put out something, people, some people say you're breaking the laws or you can't do that. You should know your laws, look up your laws, da 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 da. I check my laws constantly. On a regular basis, I am a licensed charter captain. That is my job. Just because the laws are the way they are in your state or your area doesn't mean they're the same here. We have different set of laws. We have different set of laws for different counties of Florida. We have different set of laws for different areas. Okay, like right here in Volusia County, if I fish north of the 44 bridge in New Smyrna, I can keep redfish. If I fish south of the 44 bridge in New Smyrna, redfish are catch and release only. So that's right here in my same hometown, and that's right here in my same county. There's two different sets of rules. So please, before you make and comment, know the rules for where I'm at. Instead of getting on here and telling me I'm breaking the law, that I'm not a captain, that I don't know what I'm doing. I've even been called a piece of shit because I don't pay attention to the laws. My laws here are different than your laws. Crabbing, I get so much stuff when I go crabbing and I do crabbing videos. State of Florida, there's no size limit on blue crabs. You can keep females and blue crabs. As long as they're not egg bearing, you can keep them. So quit hitting me with all these hateful comments because you don't think I'm following the rules of your state. I don't have to follow your rules. I follow the rules of my state and people make comments. Oh, you're keeping fish are too small. That fish has a size limit. I follow those size limits. If my client wants to keep that fish, that is my client's prerogative. If the fish is legal. So please all you keyboard warriors, and this is not for my regular viewers. This is not for my fan base. Y'all are awesome. Y'all got my back all the time for all you keyboard warriors. Know what you're talking about before you comment on my video, please. Because you guys are exhausting. You make doing this not as enjoyable as it should be. Maybe that's y'all's point. Maybe that's what you're trying to do. Maybe you are trying to tick off the YouTuber for whatever reason. Because it makes you feel like a better person or a bigger person. Excuse my language. It just makes you an asshole. Point blank. So stop. I'm at the point now in my life with this channel. Like I said, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not out here for I'm not out here for the views to grow my channel to two million subscribers. I'm just out here to make content, give it to you guys, and hopefully y'all enjoy it. I started this channel just doing this as a hobby so my family could watch these videos as we got older, as things happened. That was the main purpose of my channel. That's why I started it. It's grown into what it is, and a lot of that's because you guys, and I do have a great subscriber base, and I love you all. I've met tons of you out there. A lot of you come fishing with me. I've built a lot of friendships through this, and for my main subscriber base, I love you guys, and thank you very much. These keyboard warriors, y'all, they make it tough for me. I'm not going to lie to you. They make it tough, and they make it tough for other people doing YouTube videos that I know, people that are YouTubers. I have a lot of friends that are YouTubers, and man, they say the same thing, that the comment section can be a little tough, can be a little brutal. All right, enough about talking all that stuff. I'm sorry if this video sounded like a, a rant or a unleash of my feelings. I apologize. I just need to get some of this stuff out, need to get some of this stuff said, and also let a lot of you all know that maybe you've noticed that I haven't been commenting back as much or have been doing you know some of the things and it's pretty much why it is the comment section for whatever reason in the past i'm say six months it has turned into a full almost a full-time job trying to keep up with everything and most of it is because of negative stuff to be honest with you you know i love all the comments i'm not going to ever stop reading my comments 
but sometimes I'm more busy trying to delete this comment or get rid of this person. And by the time I get this comment deleted, I got another one coming up. I mean, because I have close to a thousand videos out and they all get commented on. Not just the video I just put out like yesterday. That'll get a string of comments for a couple hours, but I get comments throughout these other videos all day. And I love it. For the most part, some of the comments I get are absolutely amazing and they lift me up and they just make my day better. They do. But I do get a lot of comments that get <laughs> make it a little bit of work. Let's say. All right, y'all. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just one of these talking point videos that I just come up with. That makes me feel like I can interact with you guys, you know, my fan base and the people that are just watching the videos to do whatever. This is my chance to interact with y'all. Y'all can just see me for a little bit and get to know me a little bit, kind of understand my personality a little bit. So I like to do these videos ever so often. It's been a while since I've done one. So I figured we'd just touch base on some of these things, get some of this out there. And hopefully you guys understand. I'm sure a lot of you are going to agree with me. I'm sure there's going to be some of you that's going to get on here and just inundate me with a bunch of crap comments. I expect it. That has become the reality of doing YouTube videos now. That's just the reality of it. And I can just imagine how some these actual YouTubers that go out and pour their heart and soul to make a great video for people. And then it's just inundated with just junk comments just people just being rude mean and whatever i mean if you guys want to just kind of see where we're at just pick any youtuber and just go through their comment sections just just go through them randomly and you'll see a lot of awesome comments a lot of incredible comments but you're going to start seeing unless they do kind of what i do i go through daily and i'm deleting you know there's some out there that don't even go through their comment section they just let everything ride and I've read some comments where I'm just like, I can't believe, oh my Lord, they said that about, uh, it's, some of it's just like, just blows your mind that anybody would take the time to say some of this stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it gives you kind of an understanding where everything's at. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys very much. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. And until we see you all again, Tight Lines, Jetty Rockers, I will see you guys very soon on the next one.